Welcome back from Pilot Training Solutions. This time we're going to answer a question asked by one of you subscribers that deals with an HSI. Let's get right to it. So, in short, the scenario that was requested we explain is presented by this HSI with a north heading, the 320 selected on the Omni bearing selector, and the needle deflected towards the right. The subscriber asked us if our method of finding your position with a VOR would work with the HSI as well. So, let's start by pretending that the needle was actually centered. In this case, all we would need to do is fly 320 to get to the station. In other words, the needle represents the 320 bearing to the station, and because it is centered, we do not need to intercept it. So, let's draw out a 320 to the station on our VFR chart. But the needle in our scenario was not centered. It is actually deflected to the right side of the HSI. So, if we were required to be on a 320 bearing to the station, we actually need to intercept it. If we want to know exactly what bearing we are on, all we need to do is use the method that we teach in all of our videos. We look for a cardinal direction on the same side where the needle is. We can see north and we can see east and can really pick either of them. Meaning that if we fly either of those cardinal directions, we will center the needle, we will intercept it. Now, to make things easier to see, let's pick east to intercept. This means that the aircraft is west of that bearing, or west of that line. And according to the needle, which is 5 dots to the right, we are 10 degrees west of the 320 bearing to the station. If we now draw another line from the VOR, we can see that we are on the 150 radio from the station or the 330 bearing to the station. So, assuming a negligible wind, a 330 heading would bring us directly to the station. But this will not do, as we are instructed to intercept the 320 to the station. You might have seen from our VOR tracking video that the recommended procedure in most cases is to intercept at a 45 degree angle. In the case of an HSI, we will be using a much more efficient method. In an HSI, you connect the needles. What do I mean by this? Well, what we're going to do is turn until the top of the white indicator and the yellow CDI, the course deflection indicator needle, touch each other. Once they do, our job is to keep them connected all the way to the station. So as the CDI centers, we will keep adjusting our heading and this will create a curved interception path rather than a triangular path to the station, cutting down on time, fuel and distance. And this is how you always track and intercept on an HSI. And again, if you would rather memorize all the questions and answers on the tests, then you should probably not waste any time with our software. But if you would like to ace the knowledge test by learning the material inside and out, then we're definitely what you're looking for. Call us toll free at one eight five five pass fa or visit us at passfaexams.com and see what we're talking about. Till next time, happy flying and blue skies from Pilot Training Solutions.